Hey guys, it's Neil from Terrific Trades, and today we are going to be going over some common terms slash slang used on Wall Street. Now before I start, I just want to say that I don't mean to offend anybody, and I will try to be as politically neutral as I can be. The first term we will be getting into is technical analysis, which is analyzing a stock's trend based on its movement. To me, it means making sense of all those fancy lines when you apply a filter on a chart. Many people skip this essential part of the process before they place their trades. This leads to our next term, autist. An autist is a person who randomly trades with no particular style. For example, if their cousin's cousin's cousin friend's sister named Becky gives them a tip on a stock, they go and buy them blindly without doing any DD and usually end up YOLOing their money and hope for attendees but usually end up as a bag holder. If you guys did not pay close attention to my last sentence, I introduce you to five financial slangs. Let's go over them one by one. YOLOing Not sure why this term is still sticking around from the last decade, but it still means the same. YOLO. You only live once. It's where you bet a large amount of money with zero research, and usually it's your whole portfolio. Tendies Tendies means to make money off of favorable trades. Usually a hundred dollar bills with Benjamins are called Benjis, but the ten dollar bills are called Tendies. Bag holder. Bag holder means that the trade went south and the trade holder is left by holding a bag of crap essentially. DD or due diligence means that you you do your research and you take appropriate steps before jumping into your trade. Becky. By Becky, I do not mean my cousin's 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 friend's sister. In the financial slang, it means a portfolio of stocks that makes things primarily for millennial girls, which they cannot live without. For example, Starbucks, Ulta Beauty, Lululemon, Yeti, Etsy, and etc. Now that you're more familiar with the lingo, let's go over it again and it will make much more sense. Bill skipped this essential part of the process before he placed his trades. For example, his cousin's 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 friend's sister named Becky gave him a tip on a stock and he went to go buy it blindly without doing any DD. And he hoped for attendees, but he ended up as a bag holder, and he ended up yellowing his old portfolio. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I hope you learned something, and see you guys in another video. Bye bye.